There we go. In the net, net in the water. You unhook them easy when the net's in the water. This fish doesn't look like it needs a cutter or anything. It should just pop out. And with her head still underwater, get on hooker. Try not to hook her again. Clear the bait out of the net so you can handle the fish. And then if you need to measure the fish, grab your bump board, have everything ready ahead of time. Get the fish all set. And then make sure your partner has the camera ready, camera set to get a quick picture. Once we got the picture, or once the camera's ready, just uh, grab the fish, Lip lock's the easiest way. Hand under the gill, out of the gills. Grab the bone that's there. Lift the fish up. If the camera's ready, hold it up for a quick picture. Put it on the bump board, about 42 inches. And then just ease it back in the water. Hold her by the tail. And get the net and everything ready to out of the way so we can see. There we go. And then just let her recoup. Don't have to move her back and forth at all. Just let her breathe on her own. She'll tell you when she's ready to go. And she's just about ready. Let me keep her head up. She's keeping herself upright. She's breathing great. No need to swish them around or do anything like that. And just send her on her way. What you got to see in that video was a basic catch net and release of a muskie. The fish was netted, net remained in the water. That's the nice thing about a big deep net like this Beckman or like the nets that Frable makes is they're big, the net is deep so the net can be over the side of the boat and fish can stay in the water. The fish will stay much calmer if it's in the water. If you try to net the fish, bring it into the boat, usually they'll go crazy and what you'll end up with is a big tangled mess that you'll have to cut pieces of the net away or pieces of the hooks away. So a big musky proof net. This is a knotless netting, really gentle on the fish and this is Beckman's fin saver so it keeps their fins intact and won't split fins and make bleeding fish. The other tools that you're going to want to have are a basic hookout tool. Those can be anything from a basic pair of long handled pliers like this that'll let you get in there, get the hooks out, and keeping your hands away from the fish. The other tools that you're going to want to have, one will be for deeply hooked fish, will be a jaw spreader tool. The jaw spreader you'll split apart, slide into the fish's mouth, it'll hold the fish's mouth open and allow you to take the other tools and get in and unhook the fish where they need to be unhooked. A hook cutter is your other must-have tool. The hook cutters are a compound cutter. Your basic side cutter that you'll cut wire with won't work. Hooks are really hardened and to get through them you'll need a compound cutter. For bad hook fish, what you want to do is get in there, cut the hooks away, and then get the bait out of the way, and then go back in with your pliers and get the remaining pieces of the hook out. A couple other tools that you may want to have but aren't necessities like the other ones. One would be the hook pick. Hook pick allows you to get in to a deeply hooked fish, keeping your hands away, get the lure pushed free, and pulled back out. Excellent tool. Another thing you may want for handling fish are gloves like these musky armor gloves. A nice thin glove, not a big heavy leather glove, will allow you to get in, feel what you're doing, and pick up a fish using that lip lock like you saw on the video. All excellent new tools. Those are the basic tools that you want to have in the boat. The bump boards, measuring sticks, things like that. If you don't want a measurement, don't use them. You saw in the video the bump board used. What you didn't see in the video was that not long before the bump board was wet for measuring another fish before we shot that piece of video. 
what you want to do with the bump board that you didn't see in the video is dip it in the water first so the bump board's wet so you're not going to remove a lot of slime on a dry bump board with the fish. A floating measuring stick, one which I don't have to show you but you can find them anywhere, is something that you can lay in the water next to the fish for those maybe smaller fish that you don't want to put in the net and just unhook easily next to the side of the boat. Those are the basic tools and the things that you'll need for safely releasing muskies.